Hello my fellow Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Mindsomnia with yours truly, the Scarlet Fox. On today's episode, we're actually going to be working on an iron farm with Aelin. Uh, right now I'm actually just waiting for him to get online so that we can begin the building process. So while I do wait, I'm actually going to be taking care of our farm animals, which we haven't done in a little while here. We need to get our food resources up. And the other thing I've been thinking about and I want wanted to share with you guys is I want to build a barn uh, to actually hold our farm animals, automize the food collection process, and maybe even build kind of like a automatic wool farm within the barn. It'll be like a classic red barn style, uh, but we'll see if we have time at some point this week to actually get to that. Uh, <laughs> I have so many projects in mind that I don't know when we'll get to it, but it looks like Aelin's online now, so let's go meet with him now. Now. So good news, bad news. The good news is we have started on the Iron Golem project here. Uh, these are the pods that the villagers are going to be in and there will be a zombie that will be traveling along here. Now the bad news, <laughs> the bad news is as follows. Um, everything that I recorded did not record. So my recording system wasn't actually on, so you missed quite a lot of things. You missed us building this up here. Thankfully, I had my camera account on, so at least for the building portion of this, we'll have some footage, which I'll share with you guys. But the entire struggle of minecarting all these villagers here did not get recorded at all. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm breeding them so that instead of moving 12 villagers, I just breed them in place. It makes life easier. But the other thing that you guys missed, unfortunately, and the good news is I actually took a screenshot, is that a bunch of iron golems spawned, they're still spawned. What? How are they still here? They shouldn't see anything. Okay, I don't know how they're envisioned, but basically, this was full of about a hundred iron golems. I'll insert the screenshot now. All right, so those are the iron golems and yeah, um, it was something. <laughs> it, it was interesting. Uh, we defeated all of them with buckets of lava, thank goodness. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself because I'm usually very careful about recording and making sure everything's online before I actually do things but I guess this time around I wasn't careful enough and we unfortunately don't have the replay mod so I can't go back to those moments and um yeah my camera account was not able to capture it because that's not where I was so just gonna get rid of this golem. I don't know how it's spawning because there's no villagers that are actually seeing um, monsters at this point. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for it. Hopefully not more golems don't spawn. Okay, baby, come on. So what I'm gonna be doing for the next little bit actually is I'm going to AFK here with them while they breed so that we can get up to those 12 and then we'll be moving all the villagers up and the zombie and building those uh golem spawning platforms <laughs> hello and we'll be building the spawning platforms for the villager uh for the golems so that we can start this iron farm up all right so we had already moved a couple well all of the villagers up and a zombie unfortunately <laughs> we did it off camera and the other problem was that one of the the zombie actually died a golem spawned somewhere he wasn't supposed to spawn and killed the zombie <laughs> we also lost the villager in the process i have no idea how that happened um i wasn't online at the time that the villager mysteriously passed on so what i've done is actually bred one of the villagers up there i'm just waiting for him to grow up and i'm creating another railway system to bring a new zombie that um 
Aelin actually already was able to get up here. So I'll wait for the baby villager to fully grow up so he doesn't just, you know, <laughs> fall off the edge because he's so scared and he fits through some of the tiny corners there. And then once that's all done, hopefully this farm will be functional and we'll be able to start on a collection system here. So I did lose a baby villager. <laughs> I managed to breed another one up and actually save this entire area. This is night two of me waiting for him to grow up into an adult. So hopefully he grows up today so that we can get the zombie up. Oh, and he's all grown up finally. <laughs> I've been waiting here for so long. Okay, so he's grown up, which means I can remove all this safety stuff that I had placed for when he was a baby and then what I'm gonna do here is actually go back to bed and now I can actually move the zombie which is really exciting because finally we're gonna be able to actually start working on the collection system and all that fun stuff for this farm. Alright so now that the baby villager has grown to a full villager we can actually bring this zombie up and uh, make sure that he can start scaring those villagers. Aelin had pre-trapped him which is great, his name is Spooky Booga. So let's take him up with us. Okay so <laughs> we are almost ready to get him up there, we just need to push him- oh no <laughs> it's a powered rail I forgot the torch. Okay I need to grab a quick torch here from my inventory and just power that rail and now we should be able to push him yeah there he goes okay <laughs> oh no no fireworks okay now we need to go up and make sure that he actually falls into the minecart system that has been built for him so that he can go round and round and do his thing here <laughs> okay so it looks like he's coming up and yes so he fell into the right place we'll just remove this stuff here to make sure that uh, nothing spawns here to kill our zombie again because we don't want it to happen um, and yeah this is almost ready now we can actually start working on the collection system but s the way that it's built is so that the zombie actually slows down s long enough for the villagers to kind of panic like you see there and then they can spawn a goblin like you see there and then he keeps moving on to the next bit uh, just to get max spawns out of this farm so that's what we've done um, it seems to be working well enough now so now I'm going to start working on the collection system and I'll be back once something <laughs> has been built uh, to show you guys the progress there. Alright so I'm ready here to actually show you guys um, the first attempt at mobilizing the golems to a centralized killing chamber here. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually used some water uh, to actually move them into the center area. Uh, of course I forgot to re-put the water here so I'm gonna do that here very quickly and fix that. Okay and now that that's fixed uh, this is kind of how it works. They'll kind of travel through here. I think they're probably going to be getting stuck in some places so we'll have to reassess as we go and the reason why there's nothing spawning right now is because our zombie died again. <laughs> it was still not perfectly spawn proof so Aelin is going to hop on when he wakes up to fix that there uh, but at least we're getting a little bit of work done in terms of how to get all the golems into one place. We'll get there. Uh, we've done quite a bit of trial and error as we are also trying trying to make this our own and not just copy a farm from somewhere else. We've obviously used similar concepts that everybody does use on their iron farms, but we're also trying to make our own spin to it to ensure that, you know, we keep things uh, fun and unique and a little bit different here. So yeah, <laughs> this is it. I'm going to wait for Ailing to get back and then... Um, We'll see what we can do about actually making this look nice. It is now the next day and I have no idea what this sound is or where it's coming from. I mean, I know what the sound is. It's obviously a bell and somebody has obviously done some sort of redstone thing here to prank me. And by somebody, I'm almost 100% sure it has to be Aelin because 
he kind of fell in love because of us last episode. <laughs> so I think this might be his way of getting back to us. But I think it has to be somewhere around here, probably. It wasn't here. I can still hear it. Oh, where's this bell? Okay, so it's not in the well. Okay, there we go. So there's the bell. We're gonna remove it. Because <laughs> this is so loud. Oh my god. Aelin, why? All you did was fall in lava. Why do I get this annoying bell in my base? Alright, I had to go to bed real quick. But I'm back to actually remove this noise. I think I can just... Let me see how it's hooked up. This is... This is a lot of work just to get a bell <laughs> into my base. And this is my own bell because I lost my bell. There, it's no longer making any noise. But yeah, this was my own bell that had gone missing. I didn't know where it was for a couple days and now it has reappeared <laughs> in my base here. I I have no idea when this, when they did this. I'm sure it was, it has to have been Aelin because we talked about my missing bell and he's the only person that has recently that I know of been at my base. So yeah, if not Aelin, who? But you know what? Because I'm so, so sure that it has to be Aelin, I am thinking about getting a little bit of revenge. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring the nether up to the overworld to his old base. So there's a rumor that if you uh, plant a crimson um, thingy-majigger, a crimson fungus on something that is abandoned, then you can actually get the nether to come back up. So we're going to go to Aelin's old base, which is now abandoned, and plant it there. We have now made it to Aelin's old base. So this should be simple enough. All we need to put is one nylum down and then plant a fungus on top of it. Like so. And yeah, we wait. <laughs> we wait and then the nether will be in the overworld. Okay, so we are back <laughs> uh, from after a couple hours and look at this. Oh gosh. The nether has come to Aelin's old base here. It spread really quickly here. It's very dangerous. People shouldn't mess with me. Look at what can happen to people if they abandon their bases and they decide to prank me. Hmm? They get their base overrun by the nether. And looks like one of the trees actually grew from inside his house and everything. Like, this is insane. Look at all that. It's almost like you're in the nether. Right there. Yeah, well, we got our revenge. Aelin, thank you for the bell. Here is uh, the nether at your old base. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now that we've taken that <laughs> care of that, um, we'll come back here and this is actually at its final form, finally. So um, Aelin actually put these slabs up here to protect the zombie from any golem spawns, so the zombie will no longer die. He also put some ice, uh, packed ice I think, at the bottom here to help them move a lot faster. So this is actually going to get us the max amount of iron possible. Uh, for this size of a farm and also without breaking the server of course <laughs> I'm sure that there can be bigger farms but this one is just right and it's good enough for us so this is kind of what it looks like from the bottom here and it is my job to just make sure that uh, it looks pretty on the outside so we'll be doing that for next episode we're going to be building a structure uh, I don't have any arrows uh, we're going to be building a structure here so that uh, it actually looks nice and we have a nice your collection area etc um but what i wanted to show you guys aside from <laughs> that view oh my gosh it took us so long to try to figure it out oh no please please wait whoops well um uh he didn't see that did he nope he didn't okay um Hopefully we didn't lose anything important there. <laughs> Let's pick up the iron. That's what I wanted to show you guys. The amount of iron that we collected uh, during our test run here. So let me just get all this stuff back up here. Hopefully Aelin doesn't notice me. I think he's offline. And I'll be right back with you guys. 
All right, so I've put everything back right now. What I'm going to do is make another chest because the chest that was holding the iron actually blew up. So I need to make a crafting table and a new chest here. Aelin still hasn't noticed me, by the way, or the fact that a creeper blew up and <laughs> blew up our little building area here. Uh, so let's make ourselves a chest. All right. And we'll put it down and we'll put the iron back in. And he had to sign something about three hours. And his chest was actually a barrel. He's definitely going to notice this. Oh, he's online. Okay, let's just put this back and maybe pretend. What can... All right, an accident happened, Aelin. Hopefully, you're not too angry about this. Okay, there's just a hole. I think we didn't lose much of the other stuff. Like, the bed looks like it's fine. We had a cow head. Um, knock, knock. Yeah, he opened it. Maybe if we make a little noise, <laughs> uh, he'll notice the hole. But you know what? He breaks our stuff all the time when he comes to our base by accident, just like this accident happened. So, you know, accidents happen. It's part of Minecraft. The creeper. Oh, did he just... Did he try shooting an arrow through the glass there? Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we had a creeper blow up here, Aelin. We're so sorry. Uh, don't kill us. Okay, so back to what I wanted to do. I actually want to uncraft these from blocks so that we can actually have a good idea of how much iron... Uh, we produced in the first test run here and it looks like it's almost a full chest for three hours and this wasn't when it was running at max efficiency so we hadn't actually put the um the whatchamacallit we hadn't actually put the packed ice or anything in yet so this is what we got from the first test in three hours so pretty decent and now that with the packed ice I think we're running at a little bit more of an efficient way so it, it will definitely be better but um, I think honestly that's all the time we have for today's episode so if you like this episode make sure that you hit that like button if you'd like to see more episodes like this make sure that you hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like to know, make sure that you put it down in the comments. I'd love to read uh, your thoughts. And also make sure that you check out Aelin's video as he will have a lot of the footage that I lost. <laughs> anyway, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye!